What is going on everyone, Parsnip here, and today we are back with episode 2 of our Let's Build playthrough. Now, before I begin talking about the build itself, I just wanted to go ahead and thank you all for the awesome feedback that you guys gave me, even though I did get some uh, more negative ones, which again, I always appreciate because constructive criticism is always great and it helps me improve but yeah another thing that i wanted to highlight is this awesome picture that you guys can see here in the background that was created by uh creeper creates so if you guys don't know creeper creates he's an awesome guy he goes ahead and does a lot of speed drawings such as these of popular themes and stuff like that so i just wanted to go ahead and give him a huge shout out and thanks for making this drawing for me so without further ado, let's go ahead and start talking a bit more about the build. So what I did want to do here is go ahead and progress. And so you're not going to notice too much of a difference. What I'm going to plan or what I am going to do on this episode is go ahead and continue on with the house. I'm going to start off with the second tower. Um, as you can see, I did want it to make it a little bit different, a little bit more weird and fantasy-ish so these these initial towers aren't gonna have anything actually useful in them so they're more for a visual aspect again i'm still using the same materials that i'm gonna probably be using throughout the build now there will be some exceptions to this and that will probably be most likely in the near future or whenever i decide to change it up a bit more so after the first tower i decide that okay here i want to make a big open area to get into what will be the crafting room and on top of that i plan to do the chest room so what i do have in store for the chest room and the crafting room is to try to put every single thing in there like not maybe not everything but the huge majority of crafting stations and chests so before I continue, before I forget, I did want to say that I did read your guys' comment and I saw a really awesome suggestion that I will start working on my next video, which was a dwarven city underground my main base. So I think that would work really well because I do think that the main three things for a dwarven-ish or dwarf-ish city is going to be um, a build that's like surrounded by lava underground maybe made out completely out of stone precisely because it is underground it needs to be something strong and sturdy it can't be like wood glass or anything fragile and it's going to be next to lava as well so i think stone just completely out of three different types of stones and maybe like a hint of wood here and there would also be great um, I also think that the first thing that comes up to my mind when I think about dwarfs is mines. So I'm probably going to go ahead and place some mines and attach them to mine carts and stuff like that underground. Now this will be in the next episode so I'll leave talking a bit more about that on the next episode. So again guys if you do have any suggestions or things that I could improve on and stuff like that just be sure to leave them there. If I like it I'll go ahead and do it. And on the next video I will go ahead and put the comment with the with what the person wrote on the next video so carrying on here i decide that i wanted to make it um not very compact but i do want to try to fit as much stuff as i can on this really large room so i decided to make a room that's big enough to fit uh, one crafting station on top of another as well as long enough so that i don't have to like squeeze everything incredibly close and leave some space for some beams and to make it feel a little bit different so i put the main crafting stations in one section as you guys can see here in the background and that is the crafting table the furnace the anvil uh the tinkerer's workshop the piggy bank the heavy crafting station i also went ahead and put a a chest and a sharpening stone there for well no real reason but in case i do want to put something else on the chest like materials that i normally use for buildings and crafting later i'm probably going to fill that like with iron bars iron chains silk bones books and stuff like that if i need to create furniture and that being said i do plan this time guys i am going to be spawning in a lot of items i plan to spawn in um, all of the furnitures and put them in the chest room will be above as well as a lot of materials and stuff like that for buildings that goes blocks walls and things of the sort so here i go ahead and start deciding uh, what i want to do with the background and things like that now you'll probably notice throughout the build i do change 
uh, the background and walls a lot until I find something that I like. And that goes without saying that if you are making a build and you play something and you dislike it, now sure, this will take a bit more time for you to complete your build, but it is important that you guys uh, redo something if you dislike it or don't like it a lot and make it a little bit better. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just play some music in the background now and then I'll catch you guys later uh, when I progress a little bit more on the build and yeah, so I'll see you all in a bit. All right, guys, so I went ahead and made three NPC rooms. I decided that I just don't want to keep it completely open down below. So I'm probably going to make um, all of the NPC rooms down below. It's going to be three stories and it's just going to be really long because I do like seeing NPCs interacting with other NPCs and talking. You know, I like to pretend that um, if I got trapped in the world, I wouldn't want to be like alone in a single room. So what I did do is make three separate rooms, pretty big rooms, might I add. It has tables, bookshelves, and a sofa. I'm also gonna make some corridors and more rooms so that NPCs can interact with each other, talk to each other, maybe some stairs so they could go up and down the stairs. I find that really awesome, and it's something that a lot of people um, don't take advantage of in the game. You know, devs put a lot of work into the interactions and stuff uh, with the NPCs, and most people, including me, on actual Let's Plays and stuff, just make like really small and tiny rooms, um, as compact as it can, and either far away from each other or super close or they just can't talk to each other and stuff like that and i know this is really pointless but it's just something that i like uh, to pretend since i waste so much time building so why the heck not right i also decide that this is a great opportunity to go ahead and make rooms uh, with different sets of furniture so as you can see in the background i use living wood for the top one uh gold for the second one and uh Completely forgot what the last one's called, but is it marble? <laughs> uh, something like marble uh, on the last one. So above, you guys could go ahead and see that I do uh, make the chest room. And like I said before, I do want to go ahead and put as many chests as I can. Later, these will be filled completely with uh, furniture, blocks, and stuff like that for future builds. Because normally, I don't use mods. I just spawn items in, in a multiplayer server and then bring them here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for now, guys. So we progressed quite a bit or so. I like to think we have our main crafting station, our chest room, and the initial parts of our NPCs' houses. So what I do plan... 
uh, later or on the next episode actually is the dwarven uh fortress or mining station or city or whatever you guys want to call it underground and then i'll probably continue uh, a bit more with the npc rooms and stuff like that again if you have any suggestions or ideas and things that i could do or improve make sure to leave them in the comment section below and as always thank you all for watching and i'll catch you guys next time